So now let's go to the really important topic and you need to listen carefully as this is really important. And this is the color theory. And color theory is a huge topic and we can discuss it for hours, but I will try to explain it really short and fast so you will understand it, especially in terms of rhinestones. Um, so there are different ways of explaining it, but as I said, I will try to make it really simple and clear so you will understand. Okay, so originally there were only three colors. The colors that we cannot get um, from mixing, so-called primary colors. So there is the yellow. <laughs> yeah, I hope you are able to see it. There is the yellow, there is blue, and there is red. So if you mix yellow and red, we will get orange. Well, I, I don't have orange, so I'll just write the name. If we mix red and blue, we will get purple. And by mixing yellow and blue, we will get green. So these are secondary colors. Okay, I have a better picture actually of this color wheel and I will switch to it now. That's kind of too close. Okay, uh, so as you can see, these are the same colors we just had. This is the yellow, this is red, and in between there is the orange. And also we have white in the center. So this is the small circle that starts everything. And we have all these primary and secondary colors here. And also we have black circle outside. Well, on, on this chart, there's no real black, but just let's pretend that it's over here, okay? So, the more white you add to the color, the lighter this color gets. For example, if we take blue, and if we add a little white, it will get light blue and lighter and lighter. If we take green and add white, it will get light green, mint green, pastel green, almost white, green, etc. And the same thing will happen if we do the opposite, if we add black. If we add black to blue, uh, to blue we'll get dark blue, really dark blue, <laughs> the most darkest blue. The same thing will happen with, let's take orange. We'll get dark orange, then mustard, then brown, then dark brown color. So the more black we add, the further we get towards the black circle, which is outside, and the more white we add, the closer we get to the white. Okay, so that's basically all we need to know about the basic color theory. Well, if you will mix these colors together, you will get something in between.